The following program may contain coarse language, violence, nudity, mature subject matter, or scenes which may not be suitable for all viewers. Viewer discretion is advised. This is the Exxon Broadcast Network, broadcasting worldwide on broadcast affiliates and satellite program providers, including CNN Broadcast Network, Sirius Satellite Network, Star Media, Good News Radio Network, Angel Broadcast Network, Wiki Broadcast Network, and WPBN-TV. For more information on the X-Zone Broadcast Network, visit us at www.xzbn.net. The X-Zone radio and TV show is largely an opinion talk show. All opinions, comments, or statements of fact expressed by Rob McConnell's guests are strictly their own and are not to be construed as those of the X-Zone radio and TV show or in any manner endorsed by Rob McConnell, Relmar McConnell Media Company, Talkstar Radio Network, its affiliated stations, or employees. All hit radio. Welcome to the X Zone, a place where fact is fiction and fiction is reality. Now, here's your host, Rob McConnell. And welcome back, everyone. This is the Exxon. My name is Rob McConnell, coming to you from our studios in Hamilton, Ontario, Canada. www.exxonradiotv.com is our website, and you can always listen to the archives for the past 90 days at www.exxonpodcast.com. No cost, no obligations, all from the Exxon Radio Show, Relmar McConnell Media Communications Group, and of course, our fine sponsors. Exonation, my guest this hour is uh, Danielle Retzinger, and uh, we're going to be talking about, well, let me put it to you this way. How many of you out there use a diary? Well, we're going to be talking about a very special diary this hour, the all-knowing diary. Fourteen years ago, Daniel made a life-changing discovery. He discovered that his mind in a complex, in a complete space of stillness had a remarkable ca- uh, capacity and capability. It became like an antenna, able to draw on outside information like a radio tuning into other frequencies. Now, one could almost say that an all-knowing was becoming available. He soon discovered his brain was doing something most unique. It was becoming one, forming into a whole brain rather than two brain hemispheres working separately. In this whole brain space, he could access information on the root cause of life experiences, from the root cause of illness to the thoughts behind relationship failures, to subconscious beliefs cracking and creating financial struggles. He had tapped into a gift he has since found each and every one of us to have, an all-knowing brain. Joining me now is Daniel Rechnitza. And uh, Daniel, thank you very much for joining the Exxon tonight. Hello, Rob, and hello, everyone. Thanks for having me. Daniel, um... Give us a little bit of an idea what you were doing when you had this eureka moment and you discovered that we all have an all-knowing brain. Yeah, great question, Rob. You know what? It's really been a series of moments. There's been a lot mm-hmm. of experiences. I used to have a lot of experiences when I was younger where you know, I'd be talking to somebody, they'd be telling me they've got a migraine, and the reason behind the migraine would start coming into my thoughts. The answer was there. It was mm-hmm. you know, the why, the why they were having it. And, and this kept happening time and time again, even in my business career, you know, the exact solution to a business problem would, would pop in. And look, you know, it got to a point where people would be telling me that they're, they're unwell, they've got this illness or that illness, and I would tell them what I was feeling, and the illness would go. That's amazing. And it was really at that point where I had to stop 
you know, dismissing it and going, well, that's just in my imagination. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, big things were starting to happen. So, yeah, I had many of those experiences over my life. But, Daniel, you say that each and every one of us has this ability, and, and is it hard to tap into? Look, everyone does have the ability, and, it, and it's not hard to tap into. The missing link, Rob, has been a lack of self-belief. Now, so many of us are brought up with a, a lot of self-doubt, mm-hmm. a lot of insecurities, and that disables the true purpose of the brain. When we have self-belief, those two hemispheres, the right hemisphere and the left hemisphere, they kind of sing in resonance with that self-belief, and they become more like a wireless antenna. So, yeah, it, it actually only takes about um, an hour and a half to, to get that working. Just an hour and a half. Yeah, yeah. It took me about twelve years. It took me about twelve years to, to learn how to teach somebody in an hour and a half. Well, I'm telling you, there are people out there that I know for a fact it would take them a complete other lifetime to tap into it. But <laughs> hopefully, we can do something for them over the next uh, forty minutes. Beautiful. Thank you very much for joining us, Daniel. You're a very busy man, and we appreciate your time here with us tonight on the X-Zone. X-Zone Nation, my very special guest tonight is Daniel Reknitzer. We're talking about how we've all been misunderstanding our human brain and that we all have within us an all-knowing diary. His website, www.allknowingdiary.com. That's www.allknowingdiary.com. This is the Exxon, a place where people dare to believe and dare to be heard Monday through Friday from 10 p.m. Eastern until 2 a.m. Eastern on the Talkstar Radio Network, Exxon Broadcast Network, UK High Definition Radio, Euro High Definition Radio, Star Cable, and of course, our growing family of broadcast affiliates right across Canada, the United States, Central America, the Caribbean, South America, the Pacific Rim, Asia, India, Africa, and Europe. I'll be back on the other side of this two-minute commercial break with my very special guest for this hour, Daniel Reknitza. We're going to be talking more about the All-Knowing Diary this hour here in the Exxon. Modern Esoteric, Beyond Our Senses by Brad Olson, consummates the lifeology story about where humanity originates. It is the lost continents, the primitive wisdom, the mythos of creation, and the rethinking of ancient history as we are taught in academia. There is much more to the story than what we have been told. As this is the first book in the Esoteric series, Modern Esoteric starts at the beginning of time and accelerates up to this modern age. Future Esoteric is book two in the series and takes a forward-looking position ahead of today with an open and honest examination of the ET issue and various unexplained phenomena. To discover the writings of author Brad Olson, visit www.bradolson.com. That's www.bradolson.com. Named one of the world's greatest psychics, Elizabeth Joyce is now giving readings worldwide via Skype. Elizabeth Joyce is recognized for her clairvoyant ability to help find missing persons, her analysis of dreams, past life regression work, mediumship, and her accurate predictions. Elizabeth has been a frequent guest on the X-Zone radio show with yours truly, Rob McConnell, now for several years. For an appointment with Elizabeth Joyce, call 201-934-8986 or Skype at Elizabeth.Joyce. And for more information, you can always visit Elizabeth Joyce online at www.new-visions.com. Have a disease that you would like to alleviate through a natural means? Have you been contacted by angels, ghosts, or even extraterrestrials and want to validate these experiences? Or would you simply like to speak with someone who can help you find your life's purpose? I'm Dr. Joseph Mara, and I'm offering my services free of charge for first-time clients contacting me during the month of April. These free consultations include angel card readings, guided meditations, 
life coaching, and energy healing. If you have always wanted to explore these types of experiences but were skeptical or simply could not afford them, then take advantage of this free special offer. Contact me through my website, a guiding light spelled L-I-T-E dot com to schedule your consultation today. Until then, I offer you love, light, and laughter. Exxon Nation, welcome back. Our special guest this hour is Daniel Retnitsa. We're going to be talking more about his new book, All Knowing Diary. His website is www.allknowingdiary.com. Daniel, you say that uh, so many of us are not using the human brain as it was intended, thereby utilizing only 5 to 10% of it. Now, to this fact, right. how, how do we explain this? And how do we know we're only using 10 to 15%? Or five to ten percent. <laughs> a lot, a lot of questions all in one there, Rob. Well, let's let's start with that last one. How do we know? Mm-hmm. If you look at um, so many of us and, and and the current world that we live in, there's so much upheaval. There's so much struggle. There's people causing harm to their own bodies. There's people causing harm to their families. Mm-hmm. People causing harm to the planet. We are meant to be at the top of the food chain, yet we are the ones who are mo- who are living most incongruent with nature and with ourselves. And that is a really big indication to how we're not tapping into the intelligence that we're endowed with. Could it just be that we're stupid? Plain and simple, <laughs> that we're just stupid? Oh, look, Rob, it, you know what? It, it's, there's a sublime uh, reality that we've overlooked. In, mm-hmm. in fact, we are actually all geniuses. But we're not tapping into that because we weren't told that we were a genius, because many of us were told we were stupid Mm -hmm. and we're only human. How many times have we heard you're only human? Because that's how we relate to ourselves. The brain does as it's told. So the brain gives us the very experience that we're only human, that we're stupid. So you're telling me that it's been society that it's that's been dumbing us down? Yeah, look, the the beliefs that we've been passing down from generation to generation Mm -hmm. has led us all to believe or to conclude that we're simply not enough. We're simply inadequate. We're not smart enough. We're not attractive enough. You know, we're just not good enough. Well, I have to ask you this question at this point. You know, you said that we were at the top, and yet we are the, for a lack of better words, the mammals that deliberately go out to kill other mammals uh, you know, when you look at dogs, cats, horses, uh, you know, and the list goes on and on, they don't wage war on other species just for the hell of it. Exactly. And that's exactly the point. Exactly the point I'm making here is that we're meant to be at the top of the food chain, mm-hmm. yet we're acting quite the opposite. And, and you know, it's become almost like a commonly held belief that we, our very nature, is mm-hmm. destructive. Right. And, Rob, you know, you can look around and you've got, we've got plenty of evidence to suggest that. But when you go deeper, when you go into more of an expanded awareness, like an enlightened space, you can get to see it's not our nature to be destructive. Rather, it's because we've been disconnected from our nature. Mm. So... You know, when we look at society, what's going on today, for example, uh, earlier today, Libya did a mortar attack on Turkey. That's going to just increase the size of the tension over in the Middle East. We have the presidential debates, which start tonight between President Obama and Mick Romney. We have all this turmoil going on in our world today, whether it's because of religious philosophies or, or, or uh, what should I say, uh, political aspirations of, of the few and the mighty sure. how would how would realizing each one of us understanding that we are all geniuses change the events of the world it's, it's such a such a beautiful question Rob. i'm really glad you asked it our behaviors our decisions and our behaviors and all the actions we take mm-hmm. reflect how big or how we see, how small we see ourselves when we see ourselves as an, as an idiot or when we see ourselves as hated or not good mm-hmm. enough, we make the corresponding decisions like you know, crime and, 
and greed and attack and revenge, all those decisions. When we see ourselves as more, when we see ourselves as a genius, when we see that we are actually, and you know, this is going to sound cliche, but this is 